Now as programmers, you need to know the difference between temporary and persistent memory, or volatile, which is temporary, and non-volatile, which is persistent memory, whatever you want to call it. You can call it temporary or persistent, or volatile and non-volatile. Whatever you want to call it, you need to understand the main differences between the two. Now understand that whenever you store bits, you are storing them in memory. So your hard drive is memory and also your RAM is memory. Your RAM is random access memory and your hard drive is memory. It's a form of storage, but it's a different type of storage. One is volatile RAM. The other one is non-volatile, the hard drive. And maybe you can see where we're coming from here. What do we mean by volatile or temporary memory? Well, temporary is temporary. If you remember something and forget something very quickly, then you temporarily remembered some data in your mind. Well, computers can do the same thing. We don't need to remember when we woke up and made a cup of coffee. We may be able to re remember doing it, but eventually we'll just forget that because it's not really important or significant to us. But lifelong memories that we have in our minds, well, those are in a more secured place in our mind and they're much more solid. They're not so temporary. So in lieu of that fact, your computer is the same. You have volatile or temporary memory. And our programs can use this memory to perform operations very quickly. And we can clear that data out. We don't need to keep the data, just like our minds don't need to remember us making a cup of coffee in the morning. We just forget that very quickly. But when a user wants to save a file, well, we still need a form of memory. Memory just means storage. Whenever you hear the word memory, think of storage, think of maybe, you know, a garage or something like that. And think that there are two types of garages. One will be, I can put my car in there and by the morning it's gone. And the other one is, I can put my car in the other type of garage and it'll be there when I come back to it in the morning. So you definitely need to choose the right one. So if a user was to save a file, then we would need to use persistent memory, which is non-volatile memory. It's not volatile in terms of it's going to get deleted at some point or it may get deleted at some point. That's for our programs, the processing that goes off. Well, processing is actually a very short period of time. It processes and then it spits some output. It processes and spits some output. You don't need to keep remembering every last little process. But what you do need to do is save what the user does in your program. For example, they write a document. Well, okay, you can make the font bold. That's a process. You can underline that font. That's a process. But we don't need to remember that. However, what you do need to do is you need to give the user the ability to save that file onto their hard drive, onto non-volatile memory. So then when they come back to it, at a later date, the data is there. The binary data is there. We can pull it back into the program and they can carry on working with that data. So there are two types of memory, temporary and persistent, or volatile memory, which is temporary memory, and non-volatile memory, which is persistent memory. Those are the two main types of memory. Memory is storage. You have two types of storage, temporary and persistent. And that's it. Memory isn't that difficult to understand after all. But how you access memory is very important. But you first need to know where to put your binary data. So please do remember this for the future.